I'm going to float like a butterfly and sing like a bee. <laughs> So in this last one, I'm not going to be able to get the hook over there because he's going to block my foot with that leg. So get up, boom, he gets up. So he's already blocking my foot, so my foot's not going to go through there. So I can come here and put my De La Hiva hook over here. So now again, he doesn't have no base to that side and he's going to try to force me to the other side so he can have me hope. I'm going to break this grip over here and put the spider guard. Now, as he's trying to push me and pressure me, I'm going to lift him up and kill the inside leg. From this position, what I like to do, I like to block his proper way get up. So I'm going to come over and grab the same sleeve. Now I can use my hand to base and get up. So every time I'm on the side control, I like to be by the hips first to stabilize the position. Because if I control his hips or even get um, under his leg, he's not going to turn anywhere. He's not going to turn inside or outside. Yeah. But sometimes when, when we're here, they have cut some space to get the knees through, underhooks, yeah. I don't want that. So that's why I, I, I'm going to be by his hips first. And then when I have my opportunity, I'm going to come chest to chest. That's it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed those videos. Uh, you always got to drill and train the techniques and think and try to understand the techniques, not just do it, but understand why you're doing this or that, you know, and their act, your action, their reactions, and that's the way you learn and get better at Jiu-Jitsu. Thank you, Tim. Thanks, Mohammed. That's Have it. Have fun, guys.